Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Abbey Research Reads. My name is Dr. Kristen Donnelly, and I'm here today to speak to you about the new book, White Feminism, by Koa Beck. Koa is a former writer and editor-in-chief at Jezebel, and I will tell you folks, this book brings major Jezebel energy with it. I was very graciously provided an advanced review copy from Shyman and Schuster, the publisher through the NetGalley platform in exchange for my honest review. And so I wanna thank them so much for the provision of this because I have been getting to sit with this book even though it just released in you know, widespread. I've been able to sit with this book for a few months. Now, the fact that I got an, an ARC as we call them and that it was digital and that, it, that means it's not fully formatted. That means all of kind of the bells and whistles of an ebook um, aren't necessarily there. They haven't done that work yet or had the time to. For a whole host of reasons, um, this is a book that I think pretty strongly actually folks might need paper copies of. Now, let me say this. If you are somebody who doesn't ever kind of chase footnotes, I think not having it on an e-copy will be totally fine. But if you are somebody like me who chases footnotes, I found the e electronic nature of it and how hard it is to flip back and forth in any Kindle app, even the native one, um, and kind of like not lose my place and all that kind of stuff was um, challenging. And it did affect my, my, what I got out of the book. So because that's a me problem and not a book problem, I went ahead and ordered the paper copy so that I can kind of absorb it more. Beck's arguments are rapid fire and she's for my brain, slightly scattered in how she constructs them. And I'm going to be interested to see if I have an easier time engaging with them on paper than on a screen, which is possible because these are heavy arguments that require a lot of detail. Her prose, when I would like, the examples are kind of what, what were a little bit disorganized for me. The bulk of the argument never was. And so I, whenever I was able to center in on the bulk of her argument, this book is invaluable. Now, this book is invaluable, full stop. It's a massive recommendation for anybody because here's the deal. In every single feminist movement that I've been told to celebrate my whole life, one of the things that I have been unlearning over the last couple of years is that white women were great in them all the time. That it just so happened that white women were the heroes, that there wasn't active participation in sidelining women and activists of color. And there was. Um, take no further than the very famous, uh, which we have talked about on this channel a lot. And if you've watched any of our suffrage coverage, especially of the podcast and nothing less, you should be familiar with this. But if you haven't, um, welcome. And we'll link that pod in the show notes, uh, our coverage and the pod itself, um, in case you want to investigate suffrage in particular. But for instance, there was a really famous parade at the height of the suffrage movement. And in order to keep, this is very well documented, in order to keep Southern suffragists happy, all of the organizers did not allow women of color to march with their states, which is how everybody else was organized and essentially forced women of color to march in the back. Now, very famously, Ida B. Wells, who is a hero of all things, um, didn't listen to them and like broke out of the crowd and marched with her state's regimen the way that she should have from the beginning. Even Alice Bell, who was very well known as kind of a radical suffragette, did not embrace um, her fellow suffragettes and suffragists of color at all. Um, and they were maligned forever. There's, that's but one example. And so part of being a white woman in these United States and on this planet is owning up to the fact that just like the rest of American history is taught through a very specific lens, so is the lens of feminism. And we need to be very aware of the times that we have unconsciously, accidentally, um, or maybe even consciously participated in the silencing and maligning of women of color. So this book, like I said, receipts, fire, meticulous, should be on everyone's shelf. But I do give the caveat that I think for a lot of readers, this is one that needs to be a book book. Um, and I, cause I want you to have the freedom to flip back and forth easily between the receipts, should you, and all the footnotes, which are extensive. And this is incredibly well-researched, which again, coming from Jezebel, I would expect nothing less. Um, Jezebel spits fire, but they have receipts when they do it. So um, this, 
if this doesn't sound like a recommendation, let me repeat again. I think it's a recommendation, but I am can I am partially convinced that the format affects how much you're going to get out of it. So I'm going to, like I said, I ordered it. I um, have a whole lot of other things to review for you guys for this channel, but at some point I am going to revisit the paper copy of White Feminism and I will report back if it did affect my uh, absorption of it to the level that I feel it will. Regardless, if you are somebody who is um, interested in empathy learning, if you're somebody who has referred to yourself as being on a listening tour in 2020, which is a word some of our subscribers have learned, have used and a whole host of others have, white feminism is essential reading. It lays out a piece of the argument that a whole lot of other people have kind of teased, but the, like the, let's go from suffragists to Instagram influencers, like influencers, like let's do the whole thing. This is the first time that that's been done. And it's incredibly, incredibly important. So if you've read it or you're planning on reading it or anything else, please comment in the show notes uh, below. I love chatting with you guys about books. Um, so please let me know if you pick this one up because I think you should. That's all for this edition of Abby Research Reads. I'll see you guys next time.